Greetings, everyone. This is Gary Witherspoon, Deputy Project Director for the M.MTA Purple Line. On behalf of Governor Larry Hogan, Transportation Secretary Greg Slater, and M.MTA Administrator Kevin Quinn, welcome to the sixth Community Advisory Team meeting for the University Boulevard community. Today, you'll be hearing from Shaquana Shields, the PLTC Communication Supervisor, and Barry Bernstein, the PLTC Area 3 Construction Manager. Today, you'll hear about the Purple Line Project Update, Construction Progress Overview, including work completed, progress photos, and a six month look ahead. You'll hear about maintenance of traffic and pedestrian safety construction work hours, and details on how to submit a question. You'll be happy to know that construction is about 28% complete. M.MTA's goal is to open the Purple Line in two phases. The phase one by December of 2022 and phase two by the middle of 2023. The state considers commercial and residential construction companies as essential to still operate during Maryland's state of emergency. As the Purple Line falls into this category, work will continue to move forward with additional safety measures in place to keep our staff and our neighbors safe. The first light rail vehicle is 60% through testing in Elmira, New York. It'll head to the Glen Ridge Operations and Maintenance Facility in Prince George's County for local testing later this year. Hi, everyone. My name is Shaquana Shields, Purple Line Transit Constructor Communications Supervisor. The University Boulevard CAT segment that we will be covering today includes Tacoma Langley, Riggs Road, Adelphi Road, UMGC, UMD. Tacoma Langley Station features a center platform on University Boulevard adjacent to the Tacoma Langley Transit Center. It connects riders to the Tacoma Langley Crossroads Transit Center, the largest non-metro rail station transfer point in the Washington region. Pictured is what a typical purple line center platform station will look like, meaning that the tracks run on either side of the platform with the shelter in the center. Those stations in this segment that are center platform stations are Briggs Road and Adelphi Road, UMGC, UMD. Hello, I'm Barry Bernstein, uh, segment five manager. So the work that we've conducted over the past six months on University Boulevard, all of the uh, gas transmission lines have been relocated. 95% of the overhead electric lines have been relocated. Uh, what remains is on Piney Branch Road and Arliss Street. 80% uh, of the water and sanitary sewer lines have been relocated between Riggs and Adelphi Road. Storm drain has been installed along and across University Boulevard between Riggs and Adelphi as well. And uh, we continue to widen the road between West Park Drive and Adelphi and also uh, just west of West Park Drive. Okay, on uh, Northwest Branch Bridge uh, construction update, we're working in phase one, which is uh, reconstruction of the eastbound side. We have essentially half of the abutment work done. This east abutment is complete. We just starting substructure work on the west uh, abutment. The pier is just about complete. So overall, the bridge is 55% done. Temporary crosswalks have been set up so that pedestrian traffic is switched over to the eastbound side of the road where the bridge construction is taking place. Uh, roadway closures over the last six months, we've had detour at West Park Drive on the south side and on the north side of the university. South side has been uh, more prevalent. Uh, we've been putting in uh, gas line and, and um, storm drain there. Edwards Place closure has been implemented in order to put gas line by the Exxon gas station at uh, Langley Park uh, Shopping Center. 
And that same service road that runs up to that shopping center and headed back east along the westbound has been closed for that gas line, as well as the service road up at Merrimack, uh, Lebanon and Navajo streets for gas line work. Merrimack Drive has been closed for gas line work as well. We also have upcoming sanitary sewer work due at that location. Same story with Bayfield Street, a lot of uh, underground utilities, gas, water, sewer, uh, all need to be put in there. It's uh, not a big street and we've had to close it uh, or, or at the very least constrict uh, the width of traffic there uh, in order to do the work. All right, Campus Drive West, there's a tremendous amount of uh, work going on there. Well, highlights there are 60 inch water line relocation. In addition to that, smaller water line relocations, gas line work, sanitary sewer work, storm drain work. Uh, in addition to that, we've been conducting uh, ground improvements, which essentially means removing unsuitable soils, weak soils, uh, and replacing them with uh, more stable soils. Okay, here's an aerial view of uh, the work that I just mentioned. Uh, you look closely, you can see the excavators and uh, loaders working in the area, piles of stone, uh, stripped soil uh, in order to perform all of that utility work. The road is closed and in the middle of the picture shows the intersection of Presidential with Campus Drive. All right, so that's uh, the past six months. Now we'll move into uh, the next six months and uh, look ahead. For University Boulevard, the next six months, uh, you should see a, a lot of overhead communication line being relocated. As I said before, most of the electric line has already been relocated, but there's an awful lot of overhead communication line between uh, Verizon, RCN, Zeo, Fiberlight are amongst the companies that own the overhead lines that need to be moved from the old poles to the new. There will also be underground communication work, mostly fiber light, duct bank work. Uh, you'll see underground electric work. Also, we have a tremendous amount of storm water work to do, a lot of storm drain work. Uh, you'll see us working from the... Uh, Delphi Plaza West uh, over the next six months, probably up to and past New Hampshire Avenue. Uh, we'll continue the roadway work, widening the road toward the west as we go. We've started some curb and gutter. You'll see more of that. And of course, sidewalk to follow. Uh, we've got retaining wall work, uh, which should start down by the Northwest Branch Bridge and also include a wall on Piney Branch Road by the apartment buildings on the eastbound side of the road. We've got a lot of temporary traffic signals to install to match the phasing of the work. Phase one is to close uh, the westbound side of the road on the right lane so that we can do the curb and gutter and sidewalk work. You'll see the traffic signals shift over to match the shifted lanes to give us the room on the north side of the road to do that roadway widening, curb and gutter and sidewalk work. At Piney Branch and Arla Street, we've got, uh, we're in what we call phase 1B, which shifted the traffic to the north side of the road. We've got the south side closed. Uh, within that closed area, we're going to be working on uh, a box culvert on each side of the road, 54 inch concrete pipe which is a fish passage, will be pushing under the road. Sanitary sewer and water line work as well. Behind the barriers and in the street enclosures, uh, typically at night. Okay, for our Northwest Branch Bridge, we should complete phase one, which is the uh, westbound side of the road, switch traffic onto it and get working on demolition to the eastbound side of the road where traffic is currently driving. Two lanes of traffic will be maintained in each location. Uh, after demolition, 
uh, is complete, we'll start with pile driving for the abutments. Temporary crosswalks will switch locations. People will be able to walk on the westbound side of the road while we close off the eastbound. All right, so uh, here's a diagram showing uh, the current work zone. And the blue is the current uh, traffic. And in August, the blue and the yellow will be flipped. So this, this diagram shows uh, phase two, where we've switched traffic to the westbound side of the road. And the eastbound side is what we call phase two for bridge construction. Uh, that should happen in August. Uh, of course, we'll start with demolition of the bridge, followed by pile driving. Pedestrian traffic will be switched. Uh, currently, it's on the south side of the road. It'll be switched to the north side for phase two. This is a cross section of the final bridge. You see there's two permanent car or truck lanes on each side of the road. You have the train and the median. Uh, you get the bike lanes on the outside and, of course, the sidewalks adjacent to the bike lanes. Campus Drive, for the next six months, we're going to start some traction power substation work, which is essentially the electric power to the trains. We're going to begin some track work at the intersection of uh, University and Campus Drive. We should finish up the 60-inch water line relocation. There'll be some storm drain work. Temporary signal work, as I discussed previously on university, similar situation on campus drive and roadway widening uh, at the intersection of Adelphi and campus. Upcoming uh, closures and traffic shifts, New Hampshire Avenue, uh, northbound and southbound will have daily closures. We've got a 24 inch water line we have to put in running up uh, New Hampshire. Uh, Riggs Road, the same thing. Forston Street uh, up by Seek Lane. Uh, we'll have a detour set up to do uh, utility work there from West Park to Adelphi for the bridge work. We'll have that uh, traffic shift as we discussed previously. Existing traffic patterns will change as work occurs. Work may occur on both sides of the road and across roadways. When a lane closure is required, a notice will be distributed via email or text. Orange cones and barrels will be in place. Flag person, when required, will direct traffic, and underground utility work may require temporary road plates. Work zones will clearly be marked, and the public should not enter. Pedestrian detours will be clearly signed. When closures occur, alternate access will be provided. Pedestrian crossings will be maintained. Pedestrians should obey construction signage and keep out of work zones at all times. Typical day shift for construction is 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Typical night shift is 7 p.m. to 4.30 a.m. when needed. We are able to work 24-7 with the appropriate notifications and noise waivers. The public will be notified through emails, texts, and web notifications, which will be posted on purplelinemd.com for utility shutdowns, road driveway closures, blasting, pile driving, night work, weekend work, and any major lane closure. As always, we encourage everyone to sign up for construction notifications on purplelinemd.com. For construction-related questions and concerns, please contact PLTC Outreach. And for general project questions and comments, please contact M.MTA Public Outreach. Thank you for watching this presentation. Please email your questions to outreach at purplelinemd.com by the date posted in the presentation.